spark of dreams It means so much We're so darn close We can almost touch We don't know where We can't say when But sooner or later The light will shine in And the truth will come out in a song We'll have everybody singing along Down at the music shop Down at the music shop blocks away. Well, you know, it brings in the noise, brings in the kids, you know. More noise, the more teenagers. Sure. So how you been, Spencer? Yeah, fine, fine. What's new with you? Hey, never better, you know. Just got in the new Sticks album. I've had the new Stones album. Oh, yeah, and the 46th final Remember Elvis collection, too. <laughs> got something else I want you to look at. Come oh, on. yeah? Yeah. This is a piece of business over here. You ready? This is a video disc player. I hope you got a good deal on it. Is that all you ever think of? Listen, I'm an agent. I was born with a silver dollar in my mouth. <laughs> Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. It's going to be, I got enough credit, but it's going to pay for itself. It's the ultimate musical presentation. Just watch. Come here. Stand over this way. Look at this. Ready? <laughs> See, in the past, all the kid could take home from a concert was a couple of ticket stuff. Now these discs are recorded for him, and he'll have it forever. Can you imagine, can you imagine this was around to record when the Beatles and the Platters and the Yardbirds were working? Yeah, and the first caveman standing there pounding two rocks together. Spencer, you are so cynical. Now listen, I'm an agent. I'm supposed to be cynical. <laughs> well, uh, aren't you going to ask me what I'm doing here? No, no, I'm not going to ask you that because I know why you're here. You are here trying to convince me to go back out on the road again. This is your bi-monthly visit. And I am here again to tell you that the only singing gig that I am interested in takes place in my shower. Oh, come on, Gary. The country needs your talent. The industry needs your music. And I need your 10% commission. Spencer, I'm happy here. Yeah, but the road is unhappy, Gary. Don't you understand? The whole country is asking, what happened to Gary Crosby? Hey, here I am right here, right, right where I want to be. I know, but it's such a waste, Gary. You should be back on the road killing those audiences. The only road I'm on leads to and from the music shop. But think of the money, the glamour, the fame, the money. <laughs> Spencer, I'm sorry. I really am, but I can't. You can't. Why? Give me one good reason, all right? You want one good reason? Yeah. All right. I'll give you a good reason. I'll give you a reason you're going to love. You just stand right here, and you listen, and I'll give you a reason you understand. All right. Are you listening? I'm listening. I'm right. listening. <laughs> Years to work, I found that light and sang for millions more. And singing gave me stardom. I was the one that all the girls adored. Suddenly you're a famous man, touring the world with the number one band, and the girls used to swoon when I used to prune. I had 10% in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Just me and my song. Finally found that spotlight, had it shining right down on me. Just me and my song, take a look and see. Undeniably strong on the top of the charts. Needed more than fame to fill up my heart. Got tired in that spotlight of oh, my song. Always in hotels, longing for a place to call my own. Pack my bags and said farewell. Yes, farewell to fame and hello to home. You can't believe all the joy that I found. Got a brand new life 
that music surrounds. Uh, here's where I'll stay, and I'll sing and I'll play. And you gotta get back on your feet again. <laughs> Just me and my song in the brand new spotlight. Found it shining right down in my hometown. Just me and my song. Here's where I should be with the future that seems clear. Ain't no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm staying here in my very own spotlight for my song. Account Basie. Now, you see, you understand now? Look, 20 years is enough. What? What hurts you to cut a few sides? What a record? Man, I haven't made a record in 10 years. I'm ancient history. Are you kidding? The whole country is, is, is calling your name. Please, please. Open up that door, and if I hear my name called, believe me, I'll sing. Hey, Gary! <laughs> All right, well, you set that up, Stan. I don't know how you did it, but you set that up. Gary! What? He won't go on the road again. How do you know? Gary. Yes. What? Look at this. Uh -huh. Another tax increase. Did you get yours? I can almost smell it. Listen, Gary, I got a split. Here's some passes to hear that new band I'm managing there at the auditorium tonight. Condemned buildings with rats? Don't laugh. They're going to be great. Real big. <laughs> well, how are they now? Pretty lousy. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll see you later on the That's road again. <laughs> There's the tax bill. That's the one, huh? We read it and weep? Oh, with a tax hike like that, I gotta go back on the road. It's either that or lose the music shop. Last resort. Well, if you tell me who it's by, maybe we got it in stock. No, no, it's not a record. It, it's a desperate situation. Me! How's that? All right. I, I'm, I'm Adam Boyce. I'm the lead guitarist for this hot new band. You're not to condemn buildings with rats, are you? No, we don't have a name yet. Uh, well, how long has your group been together? Nine hours. <laughs> That's longer than most. Yeah, but that'll it'll be the end unless you can help us. And you haven't told me what you want me to do. Okay. Uh, a bunch of us from Wright's High got together and we started jamming. And it sounded so good that we want to do it for real. Well, where do I come in? We don't have a place to rehearse. Champ told us you had a spare room in the back. And he also told us who you used to be. So I figured that maybe... You'd... You know what, man? You got great timing. I just received a huge tax increase. Your rent could probably help save my store. See, I'm not dragging in the money I used to now that I'm not who I used to be. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I didn't mean to... It's all right, man. It's cool. I'm still me. There's just fewer people know it, that's all. I hate to see enthusiasm held back. Why don't you bring the band around soon and we'll talk about it? All right. <laughs> huh? Just, uh, just yeah. happened to be passing by, huh? Uh, well, I did say soon, didn't I? This is my band. Uh, Whose band? Uh, the band. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mark. This is Darcy. And that's Christopher. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. This is Gary Crosby. How you doing? I've heard right. of you. Are you the real Gary C? I think so, yes. Yeah. What kind of music do you guys play? It's a cross between um, rock, country, classical, and elevator music. <laughs> what do you call that? Confusing. Yeah, we, we just play what we feel like playing, right? I mean, yeah. we, we don't want to get labeled as a one-style well, band. Not until we find that style, mm -hmm. you know. Sure. So what do you say? How about an audition? You want now? Well, <laughs> Why not? Hey, why not? You're right. Hey, oh, right. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Look at this equipment. What keyboards? Oh, stand. 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 Stand.
Kids, clean this up in here so you won't throw anything away that might be important but doesn't look it. <laughs> then we're going to draw up the lease. How's a couple hundred a month sound to you guys? Uh, it sounds fine to me. Oh, excuse me. Where are we going to get $200 a month? Uh, we'll get jobs after school. We already got jobs after school. Then we'll get jobs after jobs. I'm too tired to play. Look, Darcy, either we lose a little sleep now or we lose the band later. Now, the choice is up to you guys. Yeah. I just don't want you telling Gary that we have to get other jobs. He needs the money, and we need the room. Solid. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Darcy? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, what'd you guys decide? You got a deal. All right. Good enough. Yeah. Listen. Okay, but listen, don't, don't be afraid to ask if you need help, all right? Thank you. I mean, uh, my music may be a little different than yours, but it all comes from the same place. Where's that? You know. <laughs> All right, let's get a bulldozer and get to work, huh? Okay. Do we have to? <laughs> hey, Mark, this place could make us famous. Famous? How's that? We might find Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Don't, 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 you can use this. Chuck, 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 Chuck,
In our pull over sweaters and our close cropped hair We had a certain style in those golden olden days Yeah, Brother Higginbotham in the golden olden days Well, the song was just a tune Now we sang a song of a puppy love Beneath the summer moon Where well, when you turn back the clocks To the time of Bobby Sox We always thought we'd stay In those golden, golden days Look, I'll slow down now It gets nasty now Here we go <laughs> Now you sang a different way Lord, you sang a different tale Whoa, whoa, whoa Like a mick and a rod And a blonde ear Behind the mic you wail With your electric guitar And your worn out jeans You've got a certain style in those rock and rolling days. Lord, talking, talking about the in the rock and rolling days. Yes, the song was still a tune. Lord, you would sing a song of a reckless love that always ends too soon. When you dance to the beat, feel the rhythm and heat, you always think you'd stay in the go. tell you that it was also a custom in those days when people enjoyed the performance they threw money yeah <laughs> they threw fruit if they didn't that's very true very true which means if you bombed you ate <laughs> but listen music was just as important in those days to people as it is now you know yeah that's true but if we don't clean this place up and stop talking we'll never get to our music yeah Come on. let's do it We said we'd go down to campus and uh, catch a concert. My agent gave me some passes. That's great. Who's playing? Condemned buildings with rats. <laughs> didn't ask where they were. <laughs> no. That's the name of the group. Well, any concert sounds great to me. Can we get the stuff cleaned up next weekend? Why not tomorrow afternoon after school? We all got to go out and find second jobs. Oh! <laughs> what I see? And Mark, what a kidder. <laughs> You said something about second jobs? Hey, now, wait a minute, Lust. If you kids can't afford okay, this room... Okay, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> wait a minute! Last one to the car rides in the truck! No, 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 no. You kids, go ahead. Go on with me. I've got a phone call i got to make. That means you ride in the trunk. Oh, I'm driving. Hello, champ. Can you close down the burger stand for a second? Come on over here. I got something I want to talk to you about. Well, then I'll come over to you. You gonna be there? All right. I'll see you in a minute. not burnt. You say that again. Listen, I want to talk to you about those kids in the band, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. What about them? Are their folks well off? Nah, nah. Compared to them, I'm well off. <laughs> How do they afford instruments? Well, uh, the last two summers they worked uh, to get the money, uh, especially Adam. Uh, he comes from a big family, so cash is tight. Why? Well, uh, they seem to want the room and everything, you know, but then I heard them talking about they're going to have to take second jobs in order to pay for it. 
Yeah, you know, but what about your tax increase? Uh, I mean, you need the money as much as they need the room. No, uh, no, no, no. They, they need to master music while they're young, you know? I'm thinking maybe it's time us adults pitch in. Anyway, I'm going to take these kids to a concert this afternoon. I want to know, will you do me a favor? Yeah. Us adults. <laughs> what can we do? Well, the phone those Chamber of Commerce guys. You know, maybe they'll come up with a couple of cans of paint. Couple chairs, something like that, you know. You bet. Hey, put that thing back on the grill before it starts moving, will you? <laughs> that looks is dangerous. Hey, you know, it's Sunday. Huh? How am I supposed to get those people? Well, however you, I'd definitely try to telephone. <laughs> and tonight is the only night you're going to get them in, by the way. Right. Yeah, they ain't going to be down watching condemned buildings with rats. <laughs> huh? <laughs> wearing pants on their head, interesting. Else doesn't. Let's just get our stuff and get home. I have to study for the history test tomorrow. Mark, the history test was on Friday. You mean I missed it? Yeah. At least now, I don't have to study for it. Right, Mark. <laughs> Oops. Wrong room? This is stuff. It's your new rehearsal room. God. How did it get here? Well, uh, some of the local merchants. A lot of people want to see you make it, group. How can we ever pay it back? Make hey, good music. I don't believe it. Hey, hey, gang. Champ, check this stuff hey, out. Hey, Look at all this equipment, man. This is the last of it for the night, though. You did a nice job, Champ. How'd you get it done so fast? Ah, uh, you know, guy, I learned great speed as a boxer. On many occasions, I had to leave the ring before the guy killed me. <laughs> Box? Yeah, until I started seeing two of everything. So, how did the ten of you like this popcorn it, machine? It's <laughs> great, great champ. Where'd you get it? Mr. Schwartz, the theater owner. Wasn't wow. that nice of him? Yeah, you know, he said he was glad to see some kids finally building something up instead of tearing it down. Well, if more people would support kids, there'd be a whole lot less tearing down. Yeah, okay, with the sermons now, let's eat. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Before we do that, I want to sign the lease. Yeah, I almost forgot. Here, I wrote this up for concert. I, Gary Crosby, agree to rent the spare room in the music shop to Adam, Darcy, Christopher, and Mark for the purpose of creating music. A yearly rent of... Gary, is this right? Yeah, that's right. A yearly rent of one dollar is to be paid. Agreed? You didn't grab it. I only have one question. What's that? Can I borrow a quarter for my share of the rent? <laughs> Please. Here you go. I'm making some sandwiches. Hey! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.